SEMA stands as a powerhouse among global car shows, where a myriad of vendors proudly showcase their unique creations. Major automotive players unleash exclusive concepts, such as Toyota's X-Runner and the FJ Bruiser from this year, while renowned hot rodders, like Ring Brothers, grab attention with feats like the Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud, propelled by a GM-sourced V8. Yet, amidst the labyrinthine halls of the Las Vegas Convention Center, it's the lesser-known projects that steal the spotlight. Amidst the array of stunning supercars, like the captivating blue Porsche Carrera GT, our focus here gravitates towards the eccentric builds that undoubtedly demanded unwavering dedication from their creators. Gunther Works Porsche 911 Speedster The Porsche 911 Speedster by Gunther Works, a California-based carbon fiber specialist, stole the spotlight with its captivating presence. These open-top restorations undergo a complete overhaul, featuring revamped bumpers, elegant side-view mirrors, and a reduced windshield for an effortlessly sleek aesthetic. The 4.0-liter Flat 6, finely tuned by Oregon's Rothsport Racing to unleash 435 HP and 335 pound-feet of torque, pairs with Gunther Works' claim of a svelte 2590-pound curb weight. Notably, the revamped Getrag G50 five-speed manual remains intact. Limited to just 25 units, this model, adorned with exposed carbon weave and vibrant purple accents, dazzled under the radiant lights of the show floor. 1961 Volvo PV544 Iron Maven. Drenched in a vibrant pink hue named Rebel Berry and extending a bold 11 inches beyond its stock dimensions, the 1961 Volvo PV544, affectionately dubbed Iron Maven, stands out as a uniquely stylish creation. Yet, what truly sets it apart lies beneath its classic facade, the chassis and powertrain from a 2019 Volvo S60 T8 hybrid. Despite the need to trim the modern Volvo platform by 18 inches, the all-female crew at Girl Gang Garage skillfully integrated the twin-turbo 2.0-liter inline-four and rear-mounted electric motor, boasting a combined 400 HP, over four times the potency of the original PV544 powertrains. Ferrari 612 TR Tapista. Prepare for a debate on wheels with this revamped Ferrari. The 612 Tapista, a creation by S Club LA, is a mysterious marvel that seems to sport a 250 Testarossa body, though we suspect it's a replica. The name hints at a fusion with the chassis and powertrain of a Ferrari 612 Scaglietti, wielding a 5.7-liter V12 churning out a formidable 533 HP. This ride is a roller coaster of eccentricities, featuring a transparent engine cover, a razor-sharp rear wing, and a cockpit adorned in striking yellow and blue hues, straight from the 612 Scaglietti lineage. With a bold mix of chrome and copper accents, the riot of colors might be a touch flashy, but there's no denying the sheer presence this car exudes. Brace yourself for opinions galore. 1957 Nash Metropolitan Nash Hole. Buckle up for a journey back to the 50s with the Nash Metropolitan. Originating from 1954 to 1962, this ride rocked the iconic two-tone, chrome-drenched, tail-fin flare of its era. Distinctively, unlike its 1959 Cadillac Eldorado counterparts, the Metropolitan crammed this trend-setting design into an affordable, subcompact marvel. But forget the cute vibes of the original. Enter the 1957 Nashole, a rebellious creation by builder Greg Salzillo. Picture this. Wheels boldly jutting out from the body, a four-inch roof chop, and chrome taking a back seat. Resting on a custom chassis, it now roars with a roughly 300 HP Chevy small block V8, where the whimsical dice perched on top doubles as the engine's air filter. This bad boy not only clinched victory at the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, but also earned its spot in the 164th scale Hall of Fame. A rebel with a cause. Now 1987 Mercur RS4 Ti. When was the last time a Mercur XR4 Ti caught your eye, especially one as downright cool as this? Rolling off the production line from 84 to 89, the XR4 Ti, born from the European market Ford Sierra, got a serious makeover in this 1987 stunner, courtesy of Jesse Henke at JH Restorations. Brace yourself, as it ditches the stock powertrain for an eco-beast 
2.3-liter turbo four Ford crate engine, boasting a jaw-dropping 500 HP potential. Shift duties are handled by a Bowler 5-speed manual gearbox, while 90s Mustang suspension adds a dash of agility. The EcoBeast roars beneath a Ford Area 51 blue paint job, with vibrant orange accents stealing the show. And let's talk about those Recaro seats. Bedazzled in a captivating blue pattern, they're a cherry on top of this automotive masterpiece. This XR4 Ti is not just a car, it's an automotive adventure waiting to unfold. VW Caddy with Porsche V6. Dive into the allure of this Volkswagen Caddy by Auto Finesse. Its rich red hue, gleaming gold BBS wheels, and a chrome roof rack make it one seriously sweet ride. Yet, the real showstopper lies beneath the hood, an unexpected surprise in the form of a 3.2-liter V6 sourced from a first-gen Porsche Cayenne. The mysteries of how this powerhouse impacts the weight distribution in this compact pickup remain. But one thing's for sure. Taking this beast for a spin is bound to be an absolute thrill. 1965 Chevrolet C10 Slayer. In a sea of six-wheeled marvels, this tricked-out Chevy claimed the spotlight, and boy, was it the king of low riders at the show. Crafted by the dynamic duo Brad and Doug DeBerti from North Carolina, this truck is practically a custom masterpiece, with only the roof and A-pillar holding onto their original identity. Now, let's talk power. Propelled by an LSX 376 B15 Chevy crate engine, this beast channels 1,000 HP to both rear axles through a four-speed transmission. Get ready for some seriously epic burnouts with this powerhouse on wheels. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Car Gaze channel.